We have a special announcement for you all, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is a big deal. It's something we've been working towards for years. We always knew that Tucson Youth Poetry Slam did more than Poetry Slam, right? This is not just about a competition, right? This is not just about what happens here every third Saturday, right? We do a whole lot of other things. We do social justice education. We do uh, work with looking at the school to prison pipeline. We have a new program called Liberation Lyrics using poetry to study social issues. So the types is growing, y'all, and we are becoming a brand new organization. Yeah. This brand new organization is being officially announced tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna give you the name of this organization that you all are a part of, and then Sarah is gonna hit you with our mission statement. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Spoken Futures Incorporated. Blueberry. No, I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> Spoken Futures Incorporated widens access to the literary arts and community engagement for young people across Southern Arizona through dynamic competitions such as the Tucson Youth Poetry Slam. <laughs> social justice programs such as Liberation Lyrics. <laughs> Spoken Futures creates youth-centered spaces through dedication, irreverence, and love. We use poetry as a tool to dream tomorrow, honor yesterday, and live today. Make some noise for Spoken Futures and Kabaddi. That's what's up. And this is not just a Tucson thing. This is a regional thing. We got phonetic spit. G Road in the house, we got Young Voices Be Heard in Sedona, we got the Casa Grande Youth Poetry Slam, we got Brave New Voices Youth Speaks, Urban Word, NYC. This is a network and it is growing, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your support and please give it up one more time for your amazing hosts, Amy Brasenio and Zach Taylor.